balance to a fixed rate. That's what you'd expect from America's home lending expert. And at Chase, you won't pay any closing costs. Already have a home equity line of credit? Chase can show you how to save money by refinancing to a lower rate. Apply today. It's as easy as one, two, three. Call now, 1-800-561-6986. Visit chase.com slash home eight. A David Faber exclusive. The biggest private equity company is going public. What does it mean to you? For the news that moves markets, stay with CNBC. This is a CNBC special. How to win the Million Dollar Portfolio Challenge. Now, your host, Carl Quintanilla. <laughs> That's right. We have it. You want it. A million dollars. Make the right trades, and it's all yours. Tonight, we're going to show you how to win the CNBC.com Million Dollar Portfolio Challenge. Over 330,000 people are now playing, so you need an edge. This contest is hot on the web. That's why we got the best of that stock bloggers here. Help you show you what could move this week in terms of stocks. Our studio is full of players. And this contest is all about ideas, all your stock picking questions. So we've assembled the best of the best portfolio players to give you those massive one day market movers, help get you to the top of this still growing contest. They're right here. We've got questions for them uh, coming up. It's a lot more than picks, it's about getting your brain in gear to make the million dollar winning move. And we've got the trading doctors here to help you with that. It's about the stars in our celebrity contest. Tonight, we're giving one of our stars the star treatment with a live stock picking clinic. All in the name of winning a million bucks. You want to beat the other 311,000 players. If you're not registered, get online tonight, cnbc.com, and get in. The sooner you enter, the better your chances of winning a million bucks. Now, here's Dylan Radigan to explain just how this game is played. So you've signed up for cnbc.com's Million Dollar Portfolio Challenge. Now, how will you make it onto the leaderboard? 50 trades a day. Any stock that's $500 million plus in market cap and listed on the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, or Amex. The market for tips and tricks is growing by the minute. We found blogs all over the web devoted to challenge strategy, including this 54-page handbook. You need to invest the way you understand. And if you, maybe if you don't have any clue about what you're doing, you know, Grab a handbook and give it a try. Things that will help. Know your resources. On CNBC.com, we've given you stock screeners, earnings screeners, and a portfolio watch list to get you on your way. Then again, look at the much blogged about Thomas Coe. He won last year by putting it all down on a single stock. To bet everything on a long shot uh, makes a lot of sense in a, in a competition like this not much sense in in actual investing but remember the challenge is a money marathon not a sprint the problem is this is a 12 week it's not just a one or two week or three week contest you'll have an earnings season during this period you're going through a correction as well after a seven month run but there's going to be reversals in this correction and what you have today if you're not very nimble could be gone tomorrow. And with two weeks in the books, there's a lot of time left for you to win. And the sooner you enter, the better chance you have of doing it. So far, more than 330,000 have registered to win. CNBC.com getting 60 million page views this month alone. It may be a 12 week long contest, but we're also giving out a $10,000 prize each week. Last week, Nancy Beaumont of California pocketed the cash, riding Fremont General and Dye stocks to victory. All right, so who's on top this week? What moves are giving them the winning edge? Tyler Matheson breaks it all down. It's the week in a minute. Week two's first leader is all cash to start. Scott Rins' 1.6 million gives him a lead that lasts. But the top of the board tightens as big movers like Tom Online, Dollar General, and Credit Acceptance Corp shoot up in Monday trading. Even with no trades, Scott holds on to the top in day two. His Tuesday winnings all in bonus bucks from watching Power Lunch. That puts him at $1.7 million. But if you played Joanne's stores that day, as one of our experts recommended on last Friday's How to Win show, you shot up the list as it gains 12% Tuesday alone. Day three, Chad Mazekia jumps to the top with a huge gain on Sapient netting him $152,000. His 1.74 million bucks has him halfway home to a weekly win and a spot in the finals. 
day four, Chad maintains his lead with an all-in trade on Zumiez, where he makes $161,000. But he has a secret weapon, $22,000 in bonus bucks from watching Power Lunch and user referrals. Can he hang on and take the whole week? He bets the house on CMGI at Thursday's close. All right, we've got our experts here to show you the ins and the outs of the game. How should you play it? What stock should you be looking at? You name it, they can answer it. Timothy Griske is CIO of Solaris Asset Management. Timothy Sykes is the founder of Cilantro Fund Partners. And J.J. Burns is the president of Burns & Company. Guys, welcome. Good to have you with us. Got th a third of a million viewers here wondering what your top pick is. Timothy, what is it? Uh, Walgreens, uh, Carl. It's... Uh, you know, this is a, a drugstore chain. The trends are really improving fundamentally across the whole industry. And if you look historically, they've always done well when CVS made an uh, acquisition, and they're, of course, doing one now buying Caremark. You also have a rumor of, of some type of uh, uh, M&A activity. Yesterday, there was rumors of an LBO here. So you got a lot of things working for you in the short term. All right. Go for it. All right. Can this move this week, or is it a longer-term play? No, this is a short-term play. I think this is, you know, a very timely opportunity. Okay. Tim, yeah. what, do you, what do you got? Take two interactive. Take two. TTWO. Was this your call last week? No. Okay. No. okay. I had Different six call. flags which screwed up. I had AOB which screwed up even more. Right. So and we're, Zoomies, so we're which listening did well. closely. I had Zoomies. All right. did well. What do you like about Take Two? We got Tudor, SAC Capital, 46% of the company, annual meeting this Friday. They're going to try and take out the CEO. My guess is they take it out. 30 million shorts. They're going to squeeze. Pop you moves. know, they're okay. going to cover. All right, JJ? Teletech Holdings. They, I'm playing the Mo and the Momentum. They're going to have a lot of news coming out in the next week or two. If I don't see news in the next three or four days, I'm done. I'm out and on to my next idea. Okay, guys, we're going to be coming back to you a lot uh, in, a, in a little bit. In the meantime, we've been watching the hot stocks all week. The chatter has been just as high online. Some of the biggest names uh, in the business blogging are in tonight. John Carney is the editor of DealBreaker.com. Also, Jeff Mishlove, who had a great call last week on Joanne Stores, is the author of the Million Dollar Challenge Handbook. He's with Forecasting Systems. Com. John, uh, what are the best and worst names that you've seen so far this week? Right now, this week, uh, the, the best thing would have been uh, to go in for the uh, Chicago Merck. Uh, obviously, the big story of the week. Uh, Who you could knew have made it was a coming, lot of right? money, exactly. But that's the thing. You're not going to know what's coming. Sometimes you have to you know, stand back, not try to get inside the paint, make the three-point shot. Don't wait for the, you know, the obvious choice. You've got to stand back. If you, if you really wait for the ball to get past you, you're not going to score big in a contest okay, like Je this. Jeff, we've already, uh, Pat's on the back to you, man. It was a good call on Joanne's stories last week. How did you know that, and what's your pick for this week? Uh, thanks. Uh, I used a method based on the short squeeze, and I'm looking at uh, data which is available to me in advance. The same data also led me to select Sykes Enterprises, which was a big winner on uh, Monday, March 5th. Uh, but the same philosophy led to Volt Information Systems, which lost 6% that day. Okay, so your big pick this week is? For this week, I would say Chaparral Steel, Chaparral coming up Steel. On, on Monday. Okay, guys, stick around. We're going to come back to you in a little bit as well. Uh, how do you get your head in the game? Big question. Dr. Ari Kiev is a psychiatrist who studies the behavior of traders. He's the author of Trading to Win. Former CBOT trader Doug Hershorn is a trading coach who pens the head coach column for Trader Monthly magazine. And uh, Brett Steenbarger is clinical associate professor of psychiatry and behavior sciences at SUNY Upstate Medical University. He's the author of Enhancing Trader Performance. Gentlemen, good morning to you. Uh, Brett, a lot of market volatility here lately. Uh, I got to think that helps you in the contest overall, but how do you get your mind around that? Well, you know, <clears throat> volatility in the market is, means volatility with emotions. Volatility puts a magnifying glass on the emotions of the trader. And, and so you want to be able to stay grounded with the ideas that got you into the trade in the first place and tune out some of the volatility on the very short time frame. Otherwise, you get away from what brought you to the trade. Doug, Doug you talk about two things, self-awareness and your emotions. Talk about that. 